We're joined now by Chrissy Strimple, who is the head softball coach at the University of Tulsa and coached the season in the books, 25-16. and 16, A lot of good uh, from this team this year. Yeah, I mean, it was, one, great to get back out on the field and, and compete this season. Um, but from where we started, you know, to where we finished, to competing at one point for a, a chance to win the conference outright, um, just kind of shows the growth and, uh, you know, maturation of our players. And so just excited for, you know, how that went. And I feel like there's a lot to build off of. Did you think you had to kind of play catch up through the whole year because you didn't have much, if any, of a non-league schedule and you were playing sometimes your 15th game and the opposition was playing their 32nd or something like that. Was there a, a little bit of catch up mode for your team this year? I think in a sense, yes, because um, you need that game experience. You know, I think that's where um, your players start to thrive. There's only so much that uh, during a practice, you know, that you can uh, recreate, you know, that, that happens in a game. And so I think once we got, you know, about 15 games underneath the uh, or underneath our belt, I thought the girls started to play better. But, yeah, I mean, you don't want to say any excuses. We practiced hard. You know, we had every opportunity to work out and, and scrimmage against each other. But I do think it played a little bit of a role. Um, so it was nice after we got those 15 games to kind of to see where the players started to take off. Well, and weather never helps, and it wasn't very good here in the spring as far as getting outside and that sort of thing. But, again, no excuses. Your team gets into play in the American Athletic Conference and performed very well. As you mentioned, a chance to win the championship uh, going into that next to the last weekend, the big series against Wichita State. And if you split that series, then you're playing for the title the next weekend against Houston, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the American Athletic Conference is, you know, once again, just a tough softball conference to compete in. I think we finished again, you know, fifth toughest uh, conference, you know, as far as softball goes. And so you knew it was going to be a battle. Um, and right away we had Central Florida out the gate who was, you know, preseason number one, having a fantastic year, got them on our home field, mm -hmm. you know, which helped. And we went three and one and uh, had a chance maybe even to go 4-0 and that weekend. And I really feel like that gave, you know, our team a ton of confidence uh, moving forward because, again, you had to go play uh, South Florida, who has the best pitcher in our conference. And so week in, you know, and week out, it's just a tough battle in the American. And I thought our girls fought, you know, all the way through to the point where, you know, two series uh, left, we had a chance to win it. Uh, needed to play well against a great Wichita State team and, you know, had our opportunities, just didn't take advantage, and they did. And um, that's kind of how the season unfolded right there. And as you mentioned, a very good American Athletic Conference with uh, UCF, USF, and Wichita State all getting to their regional finals. Unfortunately, none of them able to get through, but it tells you how strong the league is, though, that three of them get all the way to the finals. Yeah, happy to see, you know, those teams, you know, make it to the uh, to the finals in their, in their regional you know, we had been there before, but I hope, you know, other conferences and, and people around the softball world are taking a look at that. It's just, just one year thing that happened. This is something that happens, you know, year in and year out with just tough softball, great softball to be a part of. All right, American Athletic Conference Awards. Let's go through some of that. Shanice Dels was the first teamer in the, as a DP and uh, at second base, Kylie Norwood. So congratulations to those you, two young ladies had great years, didn't they? Oh, those were two girls that, you know, led us. Uh, on our team, Kylie Norwood, a leadoff, you know, a, a junior, came here from Toledo, transferred in from Toledo, and just really worked on her craft, you know, from the 20 season to the 21 season. So just so excited to see that pay off. And she really just set the tone, you know, for us at the top of the lineup. Um, and kind of just were always hoping that she was going to come, come up to bat with runners in scoring position. Um, you know, and then Shanice Dels again, just uh, a two-way player. You know, she's tough to get hits off of. She she just relentless in the mound and then really kind of picked up stride offensively, you know, as she got about 20, 25 at-bats underneath her. And so just excited for her growth. I still think her ceiling's pretty high um, to where I think she's not done yet. I think she's got, you know, a lot of awards coming her way and some things that she can accomplish. Absolutely. And, and when you talk about your younger players, Haley Morgan gets on the freshman team. Uh, Monty Edwards gets on the freshman team. So those are two young players that you're building your program with, right? Yeah, just, you know, you're grateful to be able to get young players' experience um, from the start. And those two, you know, took advantage of their opportunities that they were given uh, right away from the first weekend, you know, and just kind of solidified themselves as somebody that needed to be, you know, in our lineup moving forward. And so I'm excited, you know, for a Haley Morgan. Uh, seems to be a ball magnet, you know, at mm -hmm. the plate. 
I think she got hit by 23, you know, pitches this year. Um, not because she wanted to, but just, you know, not going to give in and get out of the way, you know, when a ball comes tied in on her. Um, but she did an outstanding job for us in center field, really started to take control of the outfield. You know, and then Amani is just such a great athlete and uh, really started off hot, you know, kind of earned herself like, hey, I need to be in your lineup. So I'm excited to see where her growth is from a freshman, you know, into her sophomore year, junior year, and senior year. I think she's got a, a high ceiling as well. Yeah, you talk about that ball magnet, Haley Morgan. <laughs> she ends up with the 23 hit, uh, hit by a pitch. That's the single season record and just one shy of the all-time record at Tulsa. I would suspect uh, that she'll probably break that record and hopefully not break anything else, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if she wants to, but she, uh, she had a lot of bruises uh, on her legs, and there was times I think just she'd get hit in the exact same spot uh, from game to game. And so um, I think she started moving her front leg out of the way, and then her back leg took a beating. Um, she even came in and asked me for maybe something a little more bulky on her on her elbow. <laughs> but um, again, I think it just goes to her competitive nature. She knew I need to get on base. That's what my job is: get on base. Pitching wise, where is the program? Obviously, you had three very good pitchers this year and had you know success and some 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 uh, hiccups as well. But where are you with the pitching at this point? Well, you've got you know Samantha Pokop returning for us next year, and you also have Shanice Stells coming back, and we were able to get. Kylie Nash and Sarah Yamas uh, were able to get some much needed experience this year and um, Sarah Yamas there towards the end we were able to rely on her in some late innings so I, I was excited to see her come out I think she thrives you know in that relief role and uh, you know I've kind of heard her say that but I think she thrives in that relief role and so again big kid that can throw it hard and I think she knows what she needs to work on moving forward and um, you know pitching is always gonna be the difference between a great team and a good team you know and along with that so is defense and so there's some areas that I think we can improve on but I know we have the talent uh, to make those jumps. And one of your pitchers in fact the one that had your best ERA is Cassidy Scott unfortunately you say you say goodbye to her but uh, she was relentless in battling through her injuries and so congratulations to her on a great career uh, along with of course Alexis Perry and Sarah Briers and Kendall Pirtle all four of those were great contributors to your program, weren't mm -hmm. they? Oh, absolutely. Those girls, um, specifically, you know, Alexis and Cassidy, you know, had to make some choices and put some things on hold to come back. And so to see them have the seasons uh, that they were able to have to finish out their career uh, makes you happy as a coach. Um, Perry was just a mainstay in our lineup, um, a constant threat at the plate, you know, our, our biggest power threat at the plate. Um, so I'm just so glad that, you know, she wanted to come back because she just, you know, she loves the softball game. Same thing, Cassidy Scott, um, all we've kind of talked about what she's had to endure, you know, to get back. But you're just so thankful that they want to give back to your program in that way and then come in and have the success that she had when it was her opportunity to have the ball in her hand. Um, you know, Sarah Breyers is somebody that's been on our program um, and since day one has played whatever position you needed her to play. You know, whether it was uh, right field, left field, hey, come in, play third base, play shortstop. I mean, just a true program kid, utility player. Um, and then to have Kendall Pirtle come in, finish out her career, make some just huge plays for us in the outfield, really shut down, you know, extra bases. I think people were a little afraid to run on her, just a tremendous arm. And knowing that she's a Tulsa girl, you know, from Bigsby High School to come and finish her career with us and just excited for those four girls and what their future holds, but just even more thankful for them to be part of our program. Absolutely. So thankful, obviously, for those four. And Kendall, by the way, played her senior year with three broken bones in her foot. So the speed she exhibited in the outfield and on the base pass is remarkable considering what she went through, right? Oh, just a, a, a tough girl, you know, and, and they do this because that's what they want to do. I mean, it's... The choice that she made to knowing what was going on with her foot and, and the day-to-day -day things that she had to go through to deal with it just to be able to play and basically giving up her body, you know, for the team. And I think all of our, you know, younger players are aware of it. And, again, you're just – so thankful that somebody wants to go through that because they just have this much passion for softball. Yeah, absolutely. She'd walk into the facility with a boot on and she would walk out of the facility with a boot on and obviously in between play play a, a softball game uh, with the boot off, obviously, in her spikes. So outstanding job for her. Now, uh, Alexis Perry, your leading home run hitter and RBI producer for you. You won't have her next year. It seems like softball is evolving into the big bopper sport a little bit. So where are you going to replace 
those home runs and RBIs? <laughs> I guess that's a big question, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and, and you never try to do it with just one player. I mean, the reason why you start recruiting and then, you know, even some of the younger girls that didn't get, you know, the opportunities every day that these girls earned, um, they see it. They've been putting in the work. And so um, I'm excited about our freshman class moving forward. We have three young ladies coming in who – um, are all Oklahoma, or two of them are Oklahoma products, and you know one is from uh, uh, Illinois, and just excited about uh, those prospects and what they have already accomplished, you know, in their travel careers and their high school careers, and um, I think just have the makings to be, you know, outstanding, uh, you know, outstanding athletes here for for our softball program and have a little pop in their bat too. Yeah. And so I think, you know, to you can't go out and just say, oh, I'm going to re replace Alexis Perry with, you know, player A. You really want that production to come from, you know, three or four girls in the lineup. So um, that's kind of what we look forward to build off of. But we, we kind of know what the recipe is to get there. Absolutely. And, of course, banging down the door of the NCAA tournament, uh, the 19 you were there, and, and now you've gone through a full season as a head coach, and, uh, and I know now that you really feel like the program is building, and I guess you'll find out a lot more about your team in the fall. Yes, and, you know, in the fall, we're going to get to play eight games again, yeah. you know, something that we weren't able to do um, this year. And, again, you know, everybody had the same challenges, but um, it's going to allow us to evaluate but also allow, you know, players opportunities against other teams. I mean, you can scrimmage against yourself, you know, so much to where – uh, everybody knows what your pitcher does, you know, and it's nice for a pitcher to go out and see different hitters and maybe try, try to use their weapons differently to get those hitters out. Um, the same thing for your hitters, you know, how do they adjust to pitchers that they don't know, you know, from at bat to at bat in more of a competitive culture than just a practice. And so I'm excited about the fall. I'm excited where this program is headed. Um, I think we're going to continue to bring in just outstanding student athletes you know, that kind of fit the mold both academically but athletically here. And um, the goal is always to win a conference championship. The goal is to get to that regional final and, and take this program where we haven't gone. And I still think we've got some kids coming in to, uh, to jump right in and, and take, take control of that goal that we want. Coach, thanks. Uh, appreciate your time and uh, good season. We'll look forward to seeing you in the fall. Thank you very much, Bruce. Chrissy Strimple, University of Tulsa Softball.